Today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market. More on them later. I'm sharing an all new intermittent fasting, what I eat in a day following two days. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. So I do this 16-8 method of intermittent fasting. I've been doing this for almost three years. And in today's video, I'm sharing two days of meals. The times will be on the screen. It shows you what I typically eat in a day. I normally don't film this, but I do have coffee at 6.30 every morning with a dash of heavy cream. From all the research I've done, I don't believe that the teaspoon of heavy cream in my coffee kicks me out of my fast, but some people think otherwise, but that is what I do. I now have cream in my coffee at 6.30 in the morning, and then usually breakfast starts at about 9 a.m. As a disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only, and I am not giving nutritional advice. So if you're interested in intermittent fasting, please consult your doctor and your nutritionist. And having said all that, let's jump into the first day of meals. Good morning, everyone. I had to come upstairs because it is so loud downstairs. I was not able to share my breakfast and it's also raining so I couldn't go outside. So today for breakfast, I'm having whole milk, whole fat yogurt, unsweetened with some kefir in there as well, unsweetened kefir, some raspberries and walnuts. This is a really simple breakfast, but it looks so good. I love the creaminess of the yogurt and the kefir. And then I have some very little leftover coffee. That's this mermaid mug that we got at the Aquarium of the Pacific a while ago. So that's what I'm having for breakfast today. Hi everyone. My boys are around me and they think it's so funny that I'm filming my lunch, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Shh. laughs> now you wonder why I go outside or in my bedroom. This is why. Okay. But anyway, all right, my lunch is really small today because I know what I'm having for dinner. I'm going out to eat at a Mexican restaurant and I always like to get the same thing. It's quite heavy, so I'm having a light lunch. So this is a piece of multi-grain sourdough toast and it has olive oil on top, extra virgin olive oil. I toasted it. Extra virgin olive oil, then half of an avocado smashed, some Celtic sea salt. I have a bit of sauerkraut on here and some cherry tomatoes and some broccoli sprouts on top. And this is a small piece. I don't know if you can tell, but basically this is a salad plate. So it's a small piece of toast, but this will just tide me over until dinner time. And I don't really want anything heavy. And then I'm having some grapefruit water to drink. That's just water with some grapefruit slices infused into it. So this is my lunch. I'm looking forward to this actually, and I'll see you at tea time. If I have tea time today, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to have it, we'll see. Hi everyone, I'm excited for tea time today, but first, there has been a change of plans. My dinner for tonight has been postponed. So that's kind of interesting because I based my whole day off of knowing that I was going to go out to dinner. And so when I go to get Mexican food, I usually always get a beef taco, a chili relleno, and fried refried beans and rice that's what i always get it's like my favorite thing so that's what i was planning on having for dinner but now i'm not having that so that's rather interesting anyway i just wanted to update you but it's good it's like these videos document you know what i'm really eating in a day so when plans change let's see what we're having for dinner tonight but i don't want to get ahead of myself right now it's tea time and i am having tea time today i just felt like having something sweet and today I've made a matcha oat milk latte. So I love doing this every now and then. So it's hot oat milk with some honey and some matcha. I always use the peak matcha green tea. And I frothed it all together and then I topped it with a little bit of whipped cream. So it's like a dessert. It tastes so good. I absolutely love it. And then I'm having chocolate. Justin's um, dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And they're organic. They're the mini kind and they're so good. So I'll either have something like this, like two mini peanut butter cups or the other chocolate I like to have is Vine to Bar. Um, I featured them in my holiday gift guide and they have these Chardonnay um, dark chocolates. So this one is Chardonnay, smoked salt and cacao nibs. So usually just one or the other, depending on what I feel like, but I kind of feel like having peanut butter today. So that's what I'm having for tea time. 
And today's a very dark, rainy afternoon, so I'm actually going to watch some YouTube during my tea time. And I'm just going to enjoy that. So I will let you know what we do for dinner, but I'm kind of sad because, you know, it's like when all day you're looking forward to a certain meal. <laughs> I was really looking forward to my chili relleno. Oh well, I'll have to put that craving on the shelf for now. That is my tea time for this afternoon and I'll see you at dinner. Okay, plan B. So dinner was postponed. So instead we're using one of the food trays for dinner and we have a local chef that makes some family trays and I get a few of those each week and it just lightens the burden on cooking for me, which is really great. There's so many options today with uh, whether it's, you know, one of those meal prep delivery services. I've tried so many of them they're all really good or um, ready-made meals that are already made that you don't even have to prepare and so I just feel like it's a nice resource especially for busy homemakers to take advantage of those because on nights like this now I get to eat a healthy meal still and I still have some Spanish flavors going on here because I was really craving Mexican food that's what we were supposed to have so instead we are having red beans and rice and then there's some Brussels sprouts with green beans. And then that is some ground beef taco meat. So I could have made tacos, but I did kind of like a deconstructed taco bowl. And then I had some avocado left over from lunch. And then I fried up some of the raw tortillas just in some oil, olive oil, and with a little bit of salt on them. So I'm having this kind of like a deconstructed, like a burrito bowl type thing. This is a lot of food. I think I overpiled it. I don't know if I'll eat all this because I'm actually not that hungry anymore after all that. <laughs> but this is what we're having for dinner um, along with some water. So that's it, the plans changed and we rolled with it. After this, I won't have anything else except maybe some herbal tea later on. All right, everyone, I'll see you next time. I hope you're enjoying today's video. I'm now going to tell you about Thrive Market who have kindly sponsored today's video. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store that's on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. I love the large variety of healthy and organic foods they offer, and I typically order pantry staples from them. As a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products Products, and if you find a lower price somewhere else, they'll match it. Here is what I ordered in this Thrive Market box. Organic red lentils, sprouted yellow split peas and black beans. I ordered some seaweed products, raw cashew butter, organic wildflower honey, sour cherry spread, and kelp granules. Another wonderful feature about Thrive Market is that you can shop with the filter of your particular diet or lifestyle. So let's say you're gluten-free or you're vegan, or let's say you follow the keto diet or anything. They actually have over 90 diets and values. They will filter the products that will work for your specific needs, which is really great. So click on my link in the description or go to thrivemarket.com forward slash the daily connoisseur, and you're going to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. Thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. And now on to the second day of meals. Good morning, everyone. I have a really colorful breakfast today and I'm so excited to have this. So I have two pieces of sourdough toast with raw cashew butter. I got this in the Thrive Market and it's the first time I'm having raw cashew butter, I believe. I took a little teaspoon and tasted it and it's good. It's very creamy. I was looking at the difference in nutritional content between raw cashew butter and peanut butter, and peanut butter does have more protein, but raw cashew butter has more nutrients in it, and so I'll put those on the screen here. So anyway, I have this with some sliced banana and sliced strawberry, and the toast slices are really small. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a dinner plate, so they're quite small, so I'm having two of them. And then I'm still on my soft boiled egg kick, so I'm having a soft boiled egg that I made actually a few days ago. I just keep them in the fridge. And then I had my coffee at, gosh, what time? I think around 7 a.m. and I already drank it. Black coffee with a splash of heavy cream. And so now I'm on to Miss Gray tea and I have a little bit of heavy cream in this tea too. So that's what's for breakfast and I'm really excited. It's a beautiful day and the bird feeder is out of food. So I do need to replenish that. Otherwise the birds are gonna be mad. All right, everyone, I will see you at lunchtime. 
Good afternoon everyone. It's a little early. It's 1130. I'm having lunch now because I made some apricot chicken and it's hot now and I, I wanted to have it when it was hot. So this is chicken tenders and I made a sauce. I will do a video on this. I'll include it in one of my homemaking videos because I filmed it. The sauce is French dressing, apricot preserves, and onion soup, dry onion soup mix. And then I chopped some dried apricots and baked it in the oven for about an hour. So I'm really excited to try this and I'm having it on some rice that had a pat of butter on it, along with some broccoli and cauliflower. And I'm just drinking water for lunch today. So that's what I'm having for lunch. And I'm excited to show you what I'm having for tea time. So I'll see you after this. It's about 2.30 and it's time for tea. So I'm taking tea in my bedroom today. And today I made these um, little healthy mini cheesecakes. So I'll do a video on them because I filmed myself doing them, but they are so easy. The graham cracker crust is just graham crackers and butter. And then the cheesecake is, let's see, cream cheese, Greek yogurt, honey, one egg and some vanilla. And then I topped it with some of that delicious sour cherry jam, the Davina brand from Thrive Market. I can't wait to have this. And then I'm having Miss Gray tea again because I just love that tea. So I'm having it with a splash of milk and that's what I'm having for tea time. Okay, I always like to show you what I'm reading. I'm toggling between two books. So I'll probably read the first one for tea time. So this book I'm reading is called The Mystery of Lewis Carroll and it's by Jenny Wolf, and it is the biography of Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland. It's so interesting. I love it. I'm really enjoying these biographies that I've been reading lately. And then the other book I'm reading right now is Fast Like a Girl by Dr. Mindy Pels. And um, I'm so excited for this book. I've only flipped through the recipes at the end so far, but I'm going to dive in at some point this week. Probably not while I'm having tea time because <laughs> it's weird to read about fasting when you're having tea time. But um, those are the two books that I wanted to share with you this time. And then I also like to share these notebooks and things. So the people from Design Works Inc, they do the most whimsical journals, notebooks. So I have this little notebook here called Super Bien and it's just a little notebook but the way they make them are so so nice it's just a really high quality uh, notebook and then i absolutely love this one this is a standard issue notebook i have one of the mint green pens in here so i'm gonna film a few things for the emerald homemaking video and then another one of their journals here so i just love these small businesses beautiful paper, beautiful notebooks, beautiful journals. Okay, so I'm really going to enjoy this. Let's cut into the cheesecake right now. Mm. How good does that look? So good. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. No sugar except for the honey in this cheesecake. It's delicious. All right, everyone. I'll see you at dinner. Hi everyone, it's about 4.45 and I came outside to my little spot to show you my dinner, but I might stay because I filled the bird feeder and our rabbit, we have a wild rabbit who visits us, was just here and I kind of want to see him, so I might stay out here. <laughs> okay, so I'm having a light dinner tonight. This is on a salad plate. I know a lot of you ask about the portion sizes, so it's a smaller plate and we are having grilled shrimp and grilled veggies. This is zucchini, mushroom, and tomato. And then I fried up some plantains. My mom calls them platanos. I fried those up because I think in the last What I Eat In A Day video, I was talking about how I was craving those. So I fried them up in some coconut oil, and then I have a lime wedge here that I will squeeze on top of everything, and then I'm just having some water for dinner. So this is a lovely light dinner, protein veggie, and then my fried plantains and that's all I'll have this evening. I might have a cup of herbal tea and that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I'm going to have my dinner now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I would love to know what you like to eat in a day. Let us know in the comment section down below so we can get more ideas. Also make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I have a lot of amazing intermittent fasting related content that will be coming out this spring, including an interview with Dr. Mindy Peltz. 
Thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link in the description box or go to thrivemarket.com forward slash the daily connoisseur and you will get 30% off your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. Thank you so much everyone. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Thank you.